Pickles are one of the most loved food items used in burgers, sandwiches and salads and clearly you want to know how to make your own or you won't be watching this and trust me they're so much better than shop bought pickles. First you have to choose your cucumber and you can literally use any cucumber you like. I advise you to try this recipe with different kinds that get locally. It will vary depending on where you live but please use the freshest you can find. Then you want to give them a good wash and dry. And then for these I'm going to go to classic slice shape but you can cut them however you want. I also slice them quite thick as I like them to have a bit of a bite and I'm mainly going to use them in my salads but for burgers or sandwiches I advise you to slice them slightly thinner. Then into this mix I'm going to throw in some white onion and red pepper, chopped down to bite size and then some garlic for flavour, bashed and peeled. And to this we're going to add a good amount of sea salt. No need to measure it, just throw it in and make sure all the veg is completely covered. Also make sure you use coarse sea salt so that the veg doesn't soak up too much of the salt and the iodine in the table salt can affect the final gherkin. Then we're going to leave them to sit in the fridge for 2-3 to three hours, checking on them and tossing them every hour or so. But you can see that all the water has started to be released, intensifying that flavour. Then after 3 hours you want to rinse them off thoroughly, get them back in a bowl so we can mix them around with some lemon pepper mix, coriander seeds and some curry powder. But you can mix it up and add whatever spices you like. Then in a jar I added 50 grams of white sugar for each cucumber, so that's 100 grams in total. And then placed in all the veg and topped it with a mix of 70% water to 30% white vinegar at about 80 degrees. Not too hot as to cook the cucumber but hot enough to soften them up. I then gave it a good shake and left it in the fridge for a week to do its thing. You can leave them in the fridge now for years but let's be real, you'll be making yourself a batch every week from now on as these were amazing. Perfect for salads, burgers, sandwiches or just on their own. I love the slight curry taste too. And if you like this video Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, do all that stuff. I'll see you in the next one and remember to just keep cooking.